Hi there, Geminis. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at April 4 through April 10. And this week, strap on your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. The celestial lineup for this week includes two planets entering new signs on the same day, and the planets are the personal planets, Venus and Mercury. A supermoon and the sun making once a year connections to three different planets. Tuesday, April 5 is both busy and exciting because the Sun and Saturn offer the gift of an inspiring fire trine and then Venus and Mercury both switch signs. When Venus exchanges Pisces for fiery Aries, it points love and finances in a whole new direction. But unfortunately, Venus is not at its ever-loving best in this me-first type of energy that Aries tend to have. Now, while this is not necessarily such a bad thing, because if you are always the giver in relationships, the next four weeks can be a time for you to learn how to take your fair share, Geminis. Mercury, your ruler, the planet of communication and clear thinking is on, is on its way out of Aries on the same day that Venus heads into this sign. Because Taurus is a slow earthbound energy. When Mercury is visiting this sign, the style of communication becomes more measured and more thought out. You might as well get used to this communication slowdown because this year the Mercury-Taurus duo will be hanging around much longer than usual. Mercury is on schedule to turn retrograde April 28th through May 21st extending its usual three-week tour in Taurus to a nine-week extravaganza that lasts until the middle of June because it goes forward and then stays in Gemini. On Wednesday, April 6, the Sun makes a square to Pluto that can bring up past conflicts again. But the tide will turn on Thursday, April 7, with the arrival of the Aries new moon. And that is going to be transiting your 11th house of hopes, dreams, wishes and friendship. Be sure to circle this date on your calendar because this new moon carries the best energy of the year to initiate any kind of pro project over the next two weeks. On Saturday, April 9, the fiery Aries sun and unpredictable Uranus, which is in Aries as well, meet for their annual conference call which can result in a game-changing plan. Between sign changes, sun connections and the new moon, this week is a time when the window of possibilities is wide open and that's something I'm sure, Geminis, you're very glad to hear. Because if there's anything you enjoy in life, it's possibilities, it's options. And this is definitely something the universe is offering you this week. So if you find yourself with lots of choices around you, and you find yourself somewhat confused as to which box to pick, shall we say, don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at, as, look at it as having a lot of options and hopefully you're going to choose the one that works the best for you. And having said that, you know, going on your instinct and your gut is probably the best way to work that out at this time. So have a wonderful week. If you've got any Aries friends, they're great motivators for you and people who really start you off on the right foot towards, you know, heading into the right arena in the right direction. Have a wonderful week and I'll speak to you again soon, Geminis.